Hey y'all, how's it going? I have just a little bit of a haul here to show y'all today. Nothing much, uh, but I am no longer on a no-buy, so y'all can't be judging me right now. I did have a $100 gift card that I was waiting until my no-buy was over to make any purchases with. I did spend that, and then this is some PR too. And then what I did spend my own money on was a Glossier order, my very first Glossier order that Serene Wu tempted me into buying. She had a 20% off plus free shipping, I believe, coupon code, which is actually a pretty good deal for Glossier. I'm very impressed because their prices are actually very reasonable for the quality of products. You know, they're definitely not a drugstore price point. They're not, but they are way cheaper than most high-end products. Like the Stretch Concealers 18, the Boy Brow 16. I mean, if you compare that to Brow Wiz at 21 or like the Kat Von D Concealer that I love, which is practically 30 bucks, you know, I mean, it is it is significantly cheaper, especially with that 20% coupon code. Anyways, that was my first affiliate purchase, by the way. I've never purchased through an affiliate link before, but I did realize, like, I love Serene. I love her channel. I love her content, and I was thinking, like, you know, I don't, I don't mind this. She is completely upfront. She discloses everything. She seems like a trustworthy and honest person, and I really think that's, that's what it is. That goes a long way. Anyway, so, I, so I didn't mind her getting a little kickback from it. You know, if it helps her to create more content that I enjoy, I didn't mind that. It, it was just the first time I had ever thought about it in that way. So, anyways, uh, but let's get into it. I have like some new foundations that'll be in an upcoming cruelty free foundation Friday. I'm, I'm super excited about testing out some of this stuff. So I guess let's start with my Glossier order and just from the moment you get it, it is just so, it takes you to a whole Glossier world where everything is just so, so chic and pretty, but really fun at the same time. I just, I love it. Something about their branding just does it for me. I ended up getting four products, two skincare and two makeup items. And believe me, there was a lot more that I wanted. I want to try their new cloud paints. I'm not really a cream blush person, and so I'm trying to resist. Um, their coconutbalm.com I really wanted, but I just bought the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. Uh, but I, I think I will definitely be making more purchases in the future. Anyway, so it comes in this little poofy pouch that keeps everything protected. I will definitely reuse this like for travel. I think that is so cute. It comes of course with the stickers that you can decorate your items with. I don't think I will. I'll use these in like my journal or something. I just I like the products the way that they are but they do come with that and then it did come with a poster which I think is really cute. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use it. I don't really have anywhere to put it but if I did I'd like it. I just I like the whole presentation of it. It just brings you into that world. I love Glossier. I just, I'm, I'm full on. I love them. So the two makeup items I bought were the stretch concealer and the boy brow. Of course the boy brow. I just, I had to try it out. I do have it in my brows today. I did go with the shade brown too. I went back and forth between brown and black and I would also like to try the clear one too just for like no makeup days. I was initially a little bit worried that the brown would be a little bit too light and too warm for my very, I mean they're almost black, my brows are, but it's not. I mean, I don't think you can tell. I don't think it looks too warm or anything for my brows. And so I think I made a good choice instead of going with the black. I think the black might have been a little bit too harsh for me. So I will keep y'all updated on this, but the way it's going, I could not be happier with it. Then I did pick up the Stretch Concealer in the shade Light, which is their lightest shade. I believe there are four shades. And I did see some comments saying that they wish it would come in a fair shade, and I would agree with that. A light is not, it's not too deep for me even at my fairest but it pretty well matches my skin tone so if people out there who are legitimately fair very very light skin toned people this is probably going to be too dark for them there's a little little swatch there it is extremely moisturizing and emollient and I very much like the way it looks on my under eye it doesn't have a ton of coverage um, but I don't need a lot of coverage on my under eye so this is just perfect for me for going to work everyday basis. So I have been really enjoying this. Now, is it going to work on my face to cover my melasma? That's what I'm still testing out. So hopefully it will. Hopefully I can almost use it kind of like a foundation, blend it out in just my problem areas, slap a little bit of powder on and go because that, that would be ideal. 
And then for the two skincare products, I did get their moisturizer, the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. They do have one for more dry skin. It's called Priming Moisturizer Rich. I went with this one because I do have oily skin. And I've been struggling to find good cruelty-free found foundations, moisturizers that I really enjoy and that don't break me out. That's the key there. And so I'm hoping this works really well. I haven't really dug into this yet because with my skin being so sensitive, I don't like to introduce a lot of new products all at once and I did try out this other one first and so I want to make sure this doesn't break me out and then I'll move on to this one but I've been using this all week and it hasn't so I think I'm good um, but this is a serum it's the super pure serum I believe they have three different serums like a brightening illuminating and then this one which is for acne prone skin it is niacinamide and zinc yeah zinc serum you know what I just realized and I didn't even think about it I am allergic to zinc oxide it breaks me out and this has zinc in it zinc PCA huh I wonder if they're different products this doesn't seem to be bothering me though I really hope it's only zinc oxide that bothers me anyway so this is a little serum I've just been using one pipette at night I haven't gone to twice daily use or anything like that I've been waiting to see if I have a reaction it did seem to dry my skin a little bit um, but nothing too bad just adorable too I love just everything the packaging just does it for me but I will keep y'all updated if you want to see anything in more detail just let me know and I can try to fit it into a review or something maybe in a rehaul I'll do a rehaul in a couple of weeks and keep y'all updated okay now on to the big box so next, I just received a PR package from 100% Pure. I actually do have a couple more products heading my way. I was hoping they'd be in my mailbox today, but they weren't. I'm getting the new highlighter, the gemmed highlighters from 100% Pure, and I am so excited about it. I cannot wait for that thing to get here. But they did send me three of their foundations to do a cruelty-free foundation Friday on, and I'm so excited. This is actually one of the foundations that they already had, the Fruit Pigmented healthy foundation they just came out with a new one called second skin and I have not heard the best reviews on it I mean I think it's for a very specific skin type and I don't think that's me it's very much like a serum foundation I think it's like light to medium coverage this one is their matte full coverage foundation and I am so excited for it but I got three shades Alpine Rose which is the very pink toned one but I was worried it might be a little bit too fair but it's not it looks like a perfect shade match for me right now and then cream which I believe is the second shade little bit more yellow but actually I still I think it has some pink in it I think I'll be okay and then sand which looks like it would be a good summer color for me looks like it has a lot of rosiness to it so I think all these are gonna work the thing is with 100% pure why I like their products why I like their brand so much is because it gives you that luxury feel and that is something that I was afraid I'd be missing out on when I went cruelty free so y'all will be seeing more about these foundations coming up here soon in fact I might even film cruelty free foundation Friday tomorrow and they also threw in this under eye mask it's called bright eyes for deep puffing and brightening they're like natural fibers too that are so with aloe among other things but they get really thin when all the stuff soaks into your eyes so I think I'm gonna do this tonight along with a face mask it's mine and sugars pamper night she needs a bath I need to mask it works out well for both of us so I'll keep you updated on these and now for the Sephora box now a couple of these are restocks for me you know I kind of hate doing that like just having to restock yourself especially when it's not at the VIB sale but I couldn't live without my two favorite concealers. The Too Faced Born This Way and Fair and the Kat Von D Locket Concealer Cream and L9 Neutral. And I have technically already broken these out and started using them. I have actually both of them on today. I like the Too Faced Born This Way for my under eye. It doesn't have as much coverage but has good coverage and it's just... I don't know. It's, it's luminous without being greasy. It sets well and it doesn't emphasize my fine lines. I just, I love that concealer. And then the Kat Von D Locket is what I prefer for my melasma, my super hard to cover hyperpigmentation on my face. 
but what really spurred me on to make that purchase was this beauty right here, which is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Body Mist, which is the scent from the Boom Boom Cream that I am obsessed with. Speaking of, I actually have another Sol de Janeiro product right here. I love this brand. I, I just, I think they can do no wrong. I've only tried three of their products. I would really like to try their lip balm. Um, I, I love everything that they do. I, I don't know. But here is the Brazilian Crush Body Mist. Now I will say Sol de Janeiro, if you just happen to be watching, I'm gonna need this in a travel size so I can take this to Maui with me this year. It's, it's a little bit big, which I appreciate. For 32 bucks, it's actually a pretty good size. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna need a travel size so I can take it everywhere with me. And technically speaking, this product was PR. I did purchase the Brazilian Crush Body Mist. I got it at Sephora with everything else in this box. Um, but this one, item was PR. I just threw it in here to keep it all together. But I did get a travel size of the Sol de Janeiro Acai Body Power Cream. And when I, I wanted to try it, but I was thinking there's no way I'm going to love this as much as I love my Boom Boom Cream, right? And admittedly, the scent is different. It's a little bit more floral than it is like overtly sexy sweet. But I freaking love this one too. I've already dug into it. I'm probably going to use it tonight when I get out of the shower. In fact, the cream, I'm going to have to test them side by side, like on one arm each. But I want to say I almost think this one made my skin a little bit softer. I, I could have been dreaming that up. I don't know. I'm terrible at describing scents. Again, you just have to smell it for yourself, but I enjoy this so much too. It's a totally different direction. It's like a different concept in your mind versus the Brazilian cream, um, but I love it just the same. This is spring and the Boom Boom cream is summer, if that makes any sense. Probably doesn't. I did finally bite the bullet, no pun intended, and pick up the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask, the original one in natural, although I really do like the champagne one. It's shimmery, I never thought I would like it, but I adore it. I may get that one too and like keep that one in my purse or something. Um, I, I love it, it's so good, it is just so good. I love the way it tastes, I love the way it smells, I love what it does for my lips. I'm, I'm a big fan of this. I'm a believer. I'd really like to pick up the whole collection too. It's on my loves list. It may be something I get at the VIB sale in April. The lip scrub as well as the, um, the lip balm that came out too. That might be nice to keep in my purse and this one to keep in my bathroom. All right, y'all, I think that's all for now. It has gone dark outside. That is how long I've been sitting here talking. So let me know your thoughts if you've tried any of these items. What did you think about them? How do you use them? And also let me know if there's anything you want to see further details on. Again, I've been doing the whole rehaul thing a couple of weeks to a month after I film a haul. I'll update and go over what I've liked, what I didn't like, etc. And so maybe I'll just do that. But again, if you want to see individual videos on anything, I can definitely try to work that in. So just let me know. And I guess I'll see y'all in two days in my next video. Don't ever forget, it is perfectly okay to just be small town famous. I love y'all very much. Have a wonderful day. Kick ass at work or school or at home with the kids. Whatever you're doing, kick ass all over the place. I love y'all so much. Bye, y'all.